So, where we left off? Oh yeah, the Z-axis is crap. This is going to be another long journey. Let's get back to work. The idea is to make a system with two motors, two ball screws, two nuts, and all of this for just one axis, and to make it as rigid as I can. So here there are some clips where it seems I'm doing random things. I hope you will enjoy them. To add the motor, obviously, I had to add another driver. In my basement, I had this closed loop stepper driver for NEMA 23, but I needed an adapter, so I designed one and 3D printed it. It fits super nicely. This is the X axis, its old driver has been used for the new stepper. Since the box was already opened, I wanted to add probing capability to the machine. So I did some useless and overkill reverse engineering <laughs> to understand how the optocoupler circuit was made. And it worked. Ah, I did this upgrade one month ago, now the microcontroller is dead again and I'm switching back to Mac 3 with parallel port. Basically, I lost my time. Going back to where we left off, here's a nice close-up of the system. With two ball screws, I can find adjust the angle between Z and the X axis. However, if one motor stalls, I need to repeat this process. But now the vibrations are reduced exponentially, and the flat cutter doesn't do strange wobbles. Off screen, I measure the flatness, and the surface has an accuracy of about plus minus 0.05 mm. And for the American audience, I think are uh, plus minus 2 tau. It is not as great, so I'm asking you in the comments if you know what can I do to improve it even more, if it can be done easily. I'm thinking about using a grinding cap, but I'm not sure if I'm able to let it work. I also managed to add some cover for the rails. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This stuff isn't easy for me, and recording videos slows me down a lot. So, if you want to add a video like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, because the X axis doesn't upgrade on its own.